A2P registration sucks. So what if I told you there's a way to completely skip it and still legally send out texts that are compliant and that don't have to include the opt-out language? In this video, I'll be showing you exactly how your business can fully bypass A2P registration and never have to sign up for it again by utilizing a texting tool that doesn't fall under A2P regulations, which is iMessage. I'll be covering the reason A2P even existed, why those green SMS texts and that opt-out language are killing your reply rates, and how sending blue text from your CRM can double your response rates. I'm Tristan, by the way, and on this YouTube channel, I talk about all things SMS and iMessage related so that you as a business owner can text your way to higher replies, higher bookings, and higher conversions. To this day, the hundreds of clients that I work with have sent over 10 million text messages. So I have a pretty good idea of what gets you seen and what gets you ghosted. So on that, let's jump right in. So before jumping into how iMessage can completely replace your A2P messaging, we got to understand why A2P even existed from the start because the way that you're going to be texting through iMessage is completely different than the way that you would be doing it in your A2P campaigns. So before 2021, it was the wild west of texting, okay? People could send out hundreds of thousands of text messages from their own personal phone numbers to anyone. There was really no regulations that were set in place. And so there was a huge amount of unsolicited text messaging going on. There was also a huge amount of solicited text messages going on, but just no real way for people to actually opt out of these conversations that were being sent to them by businesses. And so you could imagine there was tons of complaints. And that's why after 2021, the US government and the TCPA came together with all of the major carriers of the US, which are, you know, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and all the smaller partners in the goal of number one, reducing spam and unsolicited texting and number two, increased deliverability for businesses that actually wanted to send out legitimate text messages to their contact base, but just doing it in a compliant way. So even though it's a really good thing that A2P has been implemented across all of these carriers, we're hitting a really big problem where A2P sucks. You know, you're probably on this video right now because you have either not been able to register to A2P or potentially you've been blocked by A2P in the past, or maybe you're just finding that A2P in general is costing you too much to do your texting campaigns. It sucks because number one, there's a business and EIN registration. So this could be very frustrating for some people because some people don't have their EIN registration yet. They're in the process of getting it. And that means that they're getting blocked from being able to send out text through Twilio, through their CRM, like go high level. The second one is the super long wait period that A2P has you go through. You are submitting your campaigns. You're getting little to no guidance at all when it comes to how you should be submitting your campaigns. And so most of the time you're blindly submitting them, hoping that you're going to get back and have a A2P registered account. And after two to three weeks, you're actually being told that you have been rejected from your A2P registration. And so you're going back into the same loop of having to do this over and over and over again. And same thing, if you change your campaign, you have to go back and do your registration again. The third one and the most frustrating one is probably the opt out language. So in most A2P campaigns, you're going to have to include the reply stop to opt out or the reply stop to unsubscribe call to action at the bottom of your text that just screams spam and that screams automation. When people and your prospects are receiving this type of message and their call to action is reply stop to unsubscribe, well, they're going to stop and they're going to opt out of that conversation before it ever happened. So this is probably the one that's killing the most texting campaigns right now is having to always include that reply stop to opt out or that opt out language on your texting campaigns. The the fourth thing that's very frustrating with A2P is being charged for everything. You're paying for any type of outbound text that's being sent. You're also being charged for any type of inbound text being sent. And so what's happening is that we're seeing a lot of businesses cut their conversation short with their prospects to save on money, which isn't the way that you should be doing things. Conversions happen in the conversation. And so why would you limit yourself as a business owner to only sending one or two texts to your prospects to book an appointment or to get them to show up to an appointment or to get them to buy something from you when 
you should be having a conversation with these people. And another frustration of A2P registration is the restricted industries and keywords within your campaigns. So there are so many keywords and industries that just can't get registered for A2P. I'm thinking specifically of, let's say, the financial or insurance industry not being able to text out anything that includes the word cash, loan, credit. And that is very frustrating because if you're looking to gain trust from your prospects when texting them and you cannot text out the words that resonates with your public, how do you expect them to trust you? And how do you expect them to engage with your texting campaigns? There's just no way that they're going to do that if they can't even comprehend the messaging that you're sending to them. And that's not all. So even though you might have your business registration, you waited your two to three weeks, you figured out your opt out language, you're okay okay with your budget being spent out on your campaigns and you're not restricted by any type of keywords or industries. The problem with your text messaging with A2P is that your text messages look spammy. You're getting registered to A2P, but it doesn't change the fact that people are viewing your text messages as spam likely text because they're not formatted well. They are sent through green SMS texts. They have the opt out language and they are not engaging. And so because of that, your texts are left on read by all of your prospects. And you're also risking your brand's reputation by having yourself kicked off of A2P because people will view your texts as potential spam and report them. So what exactly can be done about this whole situation and about A2P? So my suggestion is actually to completely skip A2P. I'm not even talking about a new formula or a new way to register your campaign so that you have a shorter wait period or you tweak your messaging. I'm telling you that you could actually completely skip and completely bypass your A2P registration as a whole by implementing iMessages. The first thing with texting iMessages that you have to understand is that we're no longer falling under the category of A2P texting, which you have to register for and is regulated. When you're sending out iMessages, messages, you're actually P2P texting, which is person to person texting, whereas A2P is application to person texting. Sending iMessages doesn't get intercepted by your carrier. It's being intercepted and sent by Apple. So it means that all of your texts are being regulated by Apple's ecosystem, meaning that you don't have to pass through A2P, which also means that you don't have a wait period for your texting campaigns. If you want to start texting on iMessages, message right now, all you got to do is have an iPhone and also, you know, register for an Apple ID. And there you go. You have it. You can start texting right away via iMessage. The second one is the fact that you don't have to have that opt out language. When you're texting through A2P, we saw before that the opt out language is required on pretty much every single texting campaign, whereas via iMessage, that opt out language is no longer required, which means that your call to action is no longer a way for the person and to opt out of that conversation before you even had one. Your call to action can be whatever you want it to be. You know, it could be what you actually want your prospect to do. Book an appointment, learn more about their business, get them to buy something, get them to hop on a demo, get them to see a video, whatever it is. Now, it doesn't change the fact that your opt out process has to be compliant, but the actual reply stop to opt out or the reply stop to unsubscribe no longer has to be present in your text messages that are being sent out to your newly opted in prospects. The third advantage of texting via iMessage is the no cost per text that you get access to. So even though you might be limited in terms of how many new conversations you could have in a day with new prospects via the iMessage ecosystem, you will never be limited in terms of how many texts you could send out to that prospect that has replied to you. So you're basically in an area of unlimited texting for free once you have had that initial conversation with a prospect. And so as we talked about before, you know, conversions happen in the conversation. And so why would you limit yourself as a business owner to the amount of text messages that you're sending out to a prospect before getting them to the next stage in the funnel? You shouldn't. You should never limit your conversations to just 
one text sent out because it costs money to send out that text. You should be sending out as many follow-ups as you possibly could for free with a prospect to get them to the next stage of the funnel. And the fourth advantage of texting via iMessage is that you're now able to text in blue. I can guarantee you that if you were to go check your contact list that you're contacting for your business, you know, your prospects, your clients, your ex-clients, 80% of them are most likely iPhone users and not Android users. And so when you're texting them through A2P, through green SMS texts, they're perceiving those texts as being potentially spammy just because it's not what they're used to seeing on their phone. They're used to seeing blue text and iMessages. And the other really nice thing about texting in blue is the fact that you get access to all of the iMessage features that comes in the texting stack. You get access to sending high res images and high res videos, something that texting via green and SMS through A2P doesn't have. You know, you're always going to have to send low res images and videos that just don't hit the same. You also get access to voice messages where people can feel your personality and feel your tone coming through on a text message. And you also get access to link preview. So when you're texting out a link via iMessage, it doesn't just pop out as a highlighted link. It actually comes up with a preview of what you're about to show them. So you could just imagine from a prospect perspective, it seems much more trustworthy to click on a link like this rather than clicking on a link that they have no idea what it's going to lead to. So if I just had to recap the advantages of passing through iMessage rather than passing through your A2P registration, I think it really just comes back to the trust that you'll be getting from your prospects. Everyone out there is registering for A2P and is getting access to green SMS text that looks spammy. And so if you're texting through iMessage and meeting people where they are at, which is on their iPhones, you're going to stand out from your competition. And you might be asking yourself, you know, Tristan, this sounds great. I want to include iMessage now in my business, but how do I do that? I have an iPhone, but I don't want to be texting these people manually through my iPhone every time they opt in. And so what I'm going to tell you is that iMessage actually integrates to any CRM. You could integrate it to Salesforce, to HubSpot, to Go High Level, to Close, to Monday.com. You could even make integrations with it on automation platforms like Zapier and on Make.com. And you could replace SMS by iMessage in all functions of your business. If you're doing one-to-one -one conversations with your prospects, why do that via SMS? You could replace that completely by iMessage in your CRM, like in your Go High Level account right here. And the second is that you could also replace SMS in your A2P number by iMessage in all of your workflows and in all of your automations, whether that be on your Go High Level account or whether that be in Zapier or in Make.com, where all of your workflows rather than sending your typical 160 character SMS green spammy text, you're going to be able to send out iMessages, blue text to your iPhone users. So if you want your text messages to actually stand out, iMessage is going to be the best way to do that. Your competition and pretty much every business that's out there right now is sending out the same type of text messages. They're passing through A2P. They're sending out green, ugly, spammy, reply stop to opt out texts. And so if you're sending them iMessages, your texts are going to hit different. They're going to see much more trustworthy because you're texting them on the texting platform that they're used to seeing. And they're also going to allow you to actually have a full on conversation with your prospects which you should be doing in your business. So if you wanted to see exactly how iMessage could be incorporated into your business or even into your CRM, whether that be, you know, Salesforce, HubSpot, Go High Level, Close, Monday, Zapier, Make, Monday.com, we'll be able to text you a demo of this iMessage tool so that you see it fully in action. So all you got to do is click that link. We'll ask you for your phone number, and then we'll go ahead and text you an iMessage, an automated iMessage with a video, with a voice message, and then take over the conversation as a real human being once you have replied to us. So yeah, link in the description, iMessage for your CRM. I'm telling you, it is the way to go if you want to stand out from the crowd, sending blue texts that look trustworthy 
healthy and that actually get responses. Thank you so much to everyone that has sticked through this entire video. If you want to learn more about anything, texting or SMS or iMessage related in your sales process, please just click that subscribe button on this YouTube video. I talk about everything that regards to texting in your business. And so if you want to double your replies, if you want to get better bookings, better conversions, just subscribe. That's all I talk about on here.